So we've made it to North Carolina. We're all settled in. We're actually hanging at the trailer right now before we're going to go get some food. Boo's all settled in her stall. I checked on her and she's just chilling out eating her hay. So this is the De Bomb finale. I have never actually been here before. I ran here before. Um, Mike has been here. Well, not to this place, but he used to live in North Carolina for a short time. And he was a uh, Mr. Marine. And so we're back in somewhat stomping grounds of his. Man, you got me on video with no habit. I did. Spot. Yep. Everyone can see it. Let me zoom on in it. That's knowledge right there. No, that's not. But, um. everything. Yeah, so tonight we'll expo. I have my I have two expos um, between six and seven, and we got here a couple hours ago. But we've just been kind of chilling, so we're gonna get some food and look around a little bit and just relax and let Boo settle in before I get on her. But it's, we've never been here before. It's a really cool facility. Um, the barn's actually really nice. Uh, I'll show you Boo's stall, but she actually has a where hers is. She has a window going outside, so she has a nice cross breeze and she has her little stall guard up. Um, so it's really nice and kind of laid back. And the cool thing with this venue is that it's literally like a big circle. So we're like on the outskirts of it and everything's based around the Coliseum, which is like, it's hard to see, but that's the Coliseum. There's just barns everywhere. So um, it's kind of cool set up. There's like a rings and round pens everywhere and stuff like that. And there's a covered arena to warm up in in case it's bad weather. So it's interesting. It's definitely different and it's kind of fun going somewhere different for a change. So we're going to go get some food in our bellies and get ready for expos in a little bit. Come on, Brooke. Come on, Brooke, get around there. Get out of there. Send her. a good day. I'm going to try to record this while being pulled in two different directions. I'm grazing Boo right now after she just got to run around the round pen a little bit. And Ruba's over here sniffing things. Blade of grass. But um, yesterday was a good first day. We um, 
finished in the open 3D in the no penalty side pot 3D. Out of the money. Um, well, we ran a 16.7 and we have things to improve on today. It was a good solid clean run. I'm really happy with that for our first run here. So um, I'm kind of excited to see how she does today. Now she kind of knows exactly where she's going, how the ground works and everything. But um, she did good. She actually went in the alleyway really, really nicely. Um, we got a little hung up on our first, which we're going to work on today. I had a friend of mine. She's giving me some advice about my approach to it. So I'm going to try that today and see how that goes. And um, her second was good. Same thing. She's got a little hung up at the round of the second, but third she figured it out. So it was a nice, solid, clean run. I'm really happy with it. She's being her normal self. And right now we're finding some grass somewhere. But we are draw 107 today. So we'll see how this goes today. I think there's like closer to, I think there's 253 yesterday, a 1501 it. Um, I don't know how many is today. I think there's at least 250 plus again. So we'll see how today goes. The senders. Push around, there you go. Get out of there. Oh, good. Get around the back. Get out of there. Good. You're good. Keep going. We're on our way home from North Carolina, which we're still in. And I was bad this morning. I kept meaning to vlog about yesterday, and I never did. So here's how the last two days went. So yesterday was Saturday. We had a really good run yesterday with the 16-3. Um, shaved off almost a whole half second. Um, our first was much better and the rest of them were really, really good. But we didn't pin anywhere um, in the money. I think a 14-8 a a, won it. Um, so we finished in the open 3D, the big bucks 3D, and the no penalty 3D. So, um, but she felt really, really good. She was listening really good. I was able to fix my first, um, thanks to some advice from a friend, and really kind of felt like that came together a lot better than it did on Friday. And that carried over to today's run, which we had a, another really good first, and I felt like it was a lot better going in, except then we decided to hit the second today. Um, Boo hit it with her shoulder going into it, and um, I think she was just, I think she was just trying too hard today and rating a little bit too soon. And uh, there's a lot of knock barrels today. It's the third day in the same pen. So I should have been riding her a little bit more aggressively. Um, but I think when I realized what was about to happen, it was too late. Um, so unfortunately we had no time today, um, but we are on our way home and we'll see how the rest of the season kind of goes. The race that was supposed to be next weekend got canceled because of issues at the facility that we can't run there anymore, which is a big bummer because it's one of my favorite pens, and Boo always did really good there too. Um, so next weekend's race has been canceled, and of course the next weekend after that we have a wedding, which there's two races that day I'll be missing. So then our next barrel race isn't until November 3rd, so we have a few weeks 
until then. So maybe I can try to squeeze in a lesson somewhere, work on some things, get her off property, work on a couple more things. Um, but otherwise, at least we're coming home all safe and sound. Um, fortunately, empty handed. But it was a really fun trip. I think you like this place too, right? Mm -hmm. it's a nice place, like, so. Yeah, it was a nice facility. Um, the show was run really, really well. Um, kudos to the people that were running it. It was run very smooth. They did a great job of keeping everyone up to date what was going on. Um, so for a first time going to this race, I was really, really thrilled with how it was. And I'd definitely love to come back down here. Um, I'm hoping it'd be nice next time that it's not 80 degrees in October. Because <laughs> um, it's been a little ridiculous. So it's like literally still 80. Um, but otherwise, it's really nice facility, really nice pen. I think Boo really liked it. Again, it was run really, really well. So I highly recommend this if you're ever in the area or qualify for here. Um, and now I know what the times are here too. So it's always kind of nice to be able to gauge what times kind of win what pens and where you're sitting at and, and whatever like that. So um, I think we'd have a good shot here if we can get our like perfect run down. Um, we might have a shot at, at something eventually. But um, it was a great weekend. We're all tired and ready to be home. It's about four hours left. Um, Reba is passed out hardcore in the backseat. Um, but we will see you guys, I guess, probably next race since the ranch season is over. And don't think we have any, really anything crazy, crazy going on this month. Otherwise, then our next bell race will be in a few weeks. So it's a fun weekend, and we'll see you guys soon.